Hey everyone, welcome to Creative Blueprints. This is collaboration day and I am working on Too Many Johnnies. And this video here is going into the sketching stage of the gigs. Let's get started. So in this first one, it is their birthday and it is taking place in a dining room scene that is going to be reused. So later I will do floor plans and do a base of that actual scene that I can just reuse as well. So I'm just kind of sketching out and blocking out kind of the basics of what the scene might entail at this moment. Okay, so now I'm just going to do um, a little bit more of a clean up blocking. Still not quite the polished polished look, but cleaning it up just a little bit more. Now I did a quick polish up of the background, so I'm just going to import that in and then just start kind of moving the characters around that scene. Because like I said, this scene's going to be reused, so it's going to be just more of the characters interacting with it. Almost like an old drama play up on the stage. So it's going to be them kind of interacting with that in many different gigs. And at the moment, I can't really decide what I want to do with old. I think I would prefer him sitting, but I'm not sure at this point. So I'm kind of just throwing him in there. And I'll probably change it again. Okay, moving on to the last cleanup sketch of this game. Um, this is where I'm going to actually put a little bit more clarity in the characters, a little bit more clarity in their actions, their expressions, because after that I will probably go into the inking stage. Um, I'll still change things, possibly, positions and stuff like that, but for now I'll just do a quick time lapse of me cleaning up the rest of this one. Okay, moving on to the next one, which is another repeated scene. So I'm just going to take my time here to actually block out and sketch out this living room scene. I do have the script in the corner there. That's what I usually do when I'm working on them so I can remember what's being said, etc, etc. But I'll just do a time lapse as I finish up this one. Okay, so I just copy paste the characters in and I'm just gonna do blocking and I decided to block by just copying and pasting them in this time around and just kind of place them into the scene and figure out kind of their emotions, just the basic of their emotions and stuff right now and position them within the scene. For this one, I think it's the only one that's not a repeated scene. Um, the picture I had in the corner there was a reference that John had actually sent me because I wasn't sure what a pier, pure, pure, I don't even know how to say it. A little fishing area like that is. I grew up in a place where you could just go down to the creek, go down to the river, go down to the lake, and go fishing. So that was something new for me to learn for the scene here. And again, I laid out the scene. Now I'm just blocking in the characters and then I will do a cleanup version of the sketch.
All right, I'm moving on to the next one. I started to kind of just throw it down quickly. It was just based off of the script um, that was just discussed about uh, in chat. So I didn't really have it all laid down. And then I began to do a little bit more blocking in a different way. And then I remembered that I had the continual scene, which is something that I actually enjoy with this project because I've never had kind of a project like that where you have the exact same scene, but having the characters interact in it, like a play like that. And I actually am really enjoying that kind of challenge in a way. It's really interesting to see all the dynamics that you can do in one single room or a few single rooms or a few single places and how much storytelling you can actually convey in just those small handful of places if it's even a handful of places. Um, so this one I'm just playing around with it. They're having their breakfast and the mid has a job interview so I'm just kind of conveying their morning as mid comes out in his outfit. And yeah. For this one, I decided to put the camera angle like straight right in front of it. So the camera would, technically speaking, <laughs> be like the wall, or the wall staring at them, but that's kind of how I seen it in my head, and I like that idea, so I'm just going to finish fleshing that out a bit here. scene so I'm just gonna copy and paste that in and then just put it at the right angle-ish horribly but the idea so that it is there in the background. gonna play around and map around and see if I can figure out a scene for this one real quick and then I will talk again in a little bit. Caring for the blocking of this, but I'm gonna just start working on it so that I don't get kind of like a block and just keep the process going. So I'm just gonna start moving into the character like a little bit here and then see from there. gonna flip it because I can kind of see the lawnmower this angle for some reason so I'm just gonna go with it where my brain's going and flip it back and start sketching in the rest and blocking in the rest of the scene. I'm really 
fighting with this one because I'm indecisive on it, but um, I think I am going to keep it with the lawnmower on the other side, like this, and switch it around a little bit more, and I think it's going to be more like this for the final. sitting. I'm very indecisive on this one, I'm not sure why. So I'll probably play around with it for a little bit more, but I'm pretty sure I'm going to stick to the other one where I have the old on the right hand screen side, lit on the left, mid on the grass. I think that's where I'm going to prefer. gonna be it for this video as I clean this up. Thank you for watching and in the next one I will go into a little bit more of the polishing I believe and I hope the week treats you well. Goodbye!